me. You didn't even give me a warning. We lie. At least you wasn't picking your nose or nothing. Well, <laughs> at least, Jason, <laughs> at least. Well, I um, must say today is April the 9th. And it's 4 o'clock Central Time. Yeah. On Tuesday. And this is this is our live. Live action. <laughs> live action. Live action. It's raining here very gently. Yeah. However, that could change. So let's hope we make it through the live. Without any heavy rain. Well, I thought about it this morning. I was like, well, I guess we could do it in the bedroom if all else fails. Because I just left the milk room and it's... It's pretty loud in there. So. Yeah, the barns, really. There's no insulation in there, so it gets oh, loud. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the barn's loud. Well, that's okay because we got plenty of insulation up above us, but it still know. gets loud in here because they're the ceiling's right there. I mean, the roof, not the ceiling, the darn roof right there. That's right, and that's why we can hear pigeons walking across. <laughs> Although there are no pigeons walking across the roof at this time. Not, not, they. not now. Not mm -hmm. now. They have subsided. It is uh. I mean, we need the. I think we needed the rain. Well, hey, I don't to me, know. It gotten a little dry. I don't know if we need all the rain that's coming. Oh uh, no, they're we're under a heavy rain warning tomorrow. Heavy rain warning. So I don't know if I ever heard of a heavy rain warning before. You know, I saw something that said um, there was a rain situation coming next week that mimics. A rain situation that happened in 2011, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And they said it was just torrential rain, rainfall. And the, the setup is similar to what that is. But that's for next week, not tomorrow. Wow. So, you know, they're anticipating heavy rain tomorrow and heavy rain next week. And if that's the case, then... Uh, Our pond overflow is going to be working. Well, that's, that's exactly <laughs> right. You know, speaking of pond overflow. Yeah. So we got that pipe. Yeah. That Greg put in in right. case the water gets so high it can, you know, not go over the top of the dam. It can go out the pipe. Right. The other day, there was something in that pipe. And I looked and I looked. And y'all know I can't see the comments on the screen. So being able to see exactly what it was was mystifying. And I really didn't feel up to walking all the way over there. But I finally figured out that I thought it was Angora. Ah. Mama's cat. Yeah. But I, I wish I'd went over there. You know, hindsight's 50-50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't go back and do something that you wish you would have. But now that I think about it, I think it might have been a duck. Really? And I can't for the life of me figure out. How you got in there. Or how Angora even got in there. Angora could get there from the backside. <sighs> the duck, though, would have to go out of the gate, out of the fence, walk up the hill. Which is nothing for a cat, but yeah. for a duck to do. Well, I came on inside and my I thought, guess he could have swam and that bank's so steep though. I don't see. Yeah. Say. Yeah. My thoughts were, okay, I'm gonna rest for a little bit. Maybe I'll feel like going back out there and checking it out. Yeah. Because I just knew whatever it was wasn't going anywhere. But when I went back outside, poof, it was gone. Hmm. And I mean, Angora's fine, so <laughs> It's not like she fell in the water or anything, and no. she didn't need rescue her, and or I would have went over there right then, but I don't know what it was. It mm -hmm. was, all I saw was white, and she's not a white hat, but she's got some white, white on. on her. Yeah. So, mystery. That is a mystery. Yeah. Like that show Unsolved Mystery. Did you, did you like that show Unsolved Mystery? I don't like mystery? it. I don't like did you it. like that? No. Back in the day? No. I like the one where where they find people that yeah. went missing or whatever, uh -huh. but not like um, Littlefoot coming and, <laughs> and, you know, making an appearance at your, <laughs> I don't like those kind of unsolved mysteries. My, there was a infomercial and they wasn't infomercials back then. It wasn't like the ones that came on at midnight. It was, it was a time life commercial that came on. And it was, I can't remember the name of them, but it was books, like encyclopedias, but it was like that kind of thing. Unsolved the, mystery? Yeah, and had like the Loch Ness Monster in it. Now, and, see, I probably would have liked Bigfoot. that because it would have been literature. But as far as watching it on TV? Yeah. Well, you know, the, the commercial would come on, and you know, you're a kid. You're like, man, I wish I'd had those books. 
Well, a friend of mine had them. Really? And every time I went to his house, I say every time. A lot of times when I went to his house, I would read those books. Huh. And it was Chad. Really? Yeah, he had them. Well, I remember that I was always fascinated with the Guinness Book of World Records. Oh, gosh, yes. And at some point in my childhood, I got a hold of one of those books. Yeah. My parents got it for me for some reason. And I was so just... What is it? I'm on the wrong internet again. Oh, no. I should have reminded you. Yeah. Can you no. swap it? I, right now, it's okay, I believe. I didn't anybody say that there? Yeah, but... Well, we go don't... ahead. Anyway, I just found that fascinating. And 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 I could recall certain facts. And it was kind of like your nonsense knowledge. <laughs> I love... <laughs> that you carry around with you. At the book fair at school. Yeah. Every year. You know, we had to get the Guinness book. I mean, somebody would get it. We'd all share it, but right. that was the popular book at the book fair. Well, I was definitely invested in it and I don't think I got mine from the book fair, but I may have. That's where I remember from the book fair at school. Well, you know, they always overpriced those books, but <laughs> it was to, it was for a fundraiser. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, you know, you might've got $5 or so and made one choice to get a book. Right. And for whatever reason, I certainly enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm going to swap the internet. I can see it. It's not it's good. It's dragging. Yeah, it's okay. not good. So, y'all, it's going to freeze just for a second, but we're going to come right back. We sure are. We're going to come right back. We Oh, it went to one. There we go. Why did it go all the way to Don't one? Don't worry about that one. We're okay. good. Okay. Sorry about that. And I said I was going to remind you. Yeah. See how that goes, right? That's right. Isn't it funny how certain things just all of a sudden ring a bell to you? Yeah. Like, okay, this is crazy. When I was, I don't know if I was a teenager. I was probably not a teenager yet. Mm -hmm. But do you know what I enjoyed watching? The Guinness Book of World Records show. QVC. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah. And and after that, Hi. my mama became a QVC fan. But it was all me. So nobody was watched QVC. But I was just in I I was infatuated with the fact that yeah. I could see what they're selling something for. You know, it was kind of like the price is right, but it came on at night. Yeah. <laughs> Does That's that right. Make sense? Yeah. I wasn't guessing anything, but I enjoyed watching the QVC. That's that's very interesting. And now you couldn't, I, I, I couldn't sit still to right to watch it. But back then, that was something <laughs> I. And it was it was always the same commercials. One of them was a John Denver commercial. Yeah. And it was advertising his album or whatever. And I knew ex every word to every preview song. You know, country roads. Yeah. Take it, me home. And then it was swapped to another song, and I knew all the words to it just because that commercial played during. The I, I remember those uh, commercials with the with the songs on. Oh, what about what about that? Reminds me of. But you know what? Columbia, where you would get the, do you get the six records for a penny? Yeah, I didn't pay attention. Oh to that. man, I I, I loaded up on. I, loaded I don't up know that QVC had commercials. No. Mm -hmm. So no, that, didn't, that didn't that where I mm -mm. remember that. That didn't remember that from. But I do remember the infomercials. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, you, you have the option to not watch TV with commercials. Right. You know, you, we have subscribed and not been on the grid for cable for many, many years. Yeah, probably twenty five at least. No, it wasn't that long. It's about twelve. Are you sure? Because mm -hmm. I thought since me crawl has been born. She's mm -mm. 14. She's not 25, but. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Remember, because we used to uh, DVR our shows. So it was after that. Okay. My, time, <laughs> my timeline is a little off today. And uh, oh, I apologize man. for that. Oh, goodness. Funny how things just pop in your mind. Though, yeah. And you start to remember. That is funny. Back how things went. That is funny. Wow. You didn't watch QVC? No. I mean, every now and then I throw it on there, but I wouldn't. Um, It was just my kind of calm down. Yeah. You know, it was kind of winding down and 
end of the day. I do remember the uh, infomercials with the CDs or records. Yeah. I guess the, tapes. It was, the only it was one tapes I remember is John Denver. And it just seemed like that one was all the time. Mm. Even now, when I hear John Denver you song, think that's of that? what I think of. <laughs> so anyway, how did we get there? I don't even know. How I don't even know. I Guinness have no world The Guinness and... Book of World Records. I tell you what I would do. Is it you know the whole the whole Columbia thing where you got ten records for a penny? The way they get you was was number one. I, from what I gather nowadays, the quality wasn't as good. The quality of the yeah. So they had their own way they would make those albums, and it wasn't as good as the the one you would get like mm -hmm. at the store. Okay, but I never could tell you. I mean, I'm. 16 17 years old, I, I couldn't tell maybe even younger than that but where they get you is is that they would send you another the, one the free one where if you didn't send it back you had to pay for you had it. to pay for it and then they would start charging you and billing you for it or yeah. or if you ever gave them your credit card which i didn't have a credit card i was uh, you know a young and they would um they would already start charging it to you and um so what i would do is they would just randomly send you one. It was 24 a penny, Michael Key. It was 24 a penny. But um, they would send you one, and if you didn't like it, you'd send it. Or if you, if you didn't open it, uh -huh. you could send it back. So I'd take my razor blade, and I would open it. Oh, right Jason. And then, it, then I would say, this is the album that I like. And then I would listen to it. If it wasn't, then I would put it back in there, and I would hot glue it right back on there. And then... They would never know it, and they'd always give me my credit. I never got charged for them. <laughs> you little weasel. Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, I can remember you and I being together and, and joining those clubs. Oh, yeah. So that was something different, though. Mm, that's the same one. Well, there was like two or three of them. Oh, yeah, Columbia House is the one I remember. But I think there was another one, too. And since then, we've long gotten rid of all those CDs. And I can remember um, when we, well, did some clean out. And I didn't want to get rid of any of them. However, we didn't even have a CD player anymore. But yeah. I thought I needed to keep all those because <laughs> they had sentimental value. They did. Did we keep them? No, we, we didn't. didn't. We didn't keep them. No, we didn't keep them. Yeah. And man. it's probably a good thing. It is. We never listened to them. They were stacked up. I mean, I don't know. I can remember when we got rid of cassette tapes, I felt the same way. You know, I had, yeah. I had saved my money and bought those tapes and, and Jason didn't want to keep them anymore and wanted to throw them away and I'm a hoarder and he's not. And <laughs> Oh, goodness. Speaking of that, yeah. Jason cleaned out the pantry today. I did. I, um, had, I don't know how I got, got to there. It was, it's been raining. Well, I tell you how you got there is oh, I went grocery store. and picked up groceries. That's right. And so uh, Mary Carl did not go with me, which is not the norm. She usually goes with me, but today mm -hmm. she didn't want to go with me. So I got back and we always, and I don't know why we do this. We always take the groceries to the bar. And set them on the bar. And set them on the bar. Yeah. But nine items out of ten belong in the pantry. They don't belong in the in the kitchen. Well, I guess you have to set them on the floor and you have to bend down. Yeah, but what point. we ought to do is take all the groceries to the pantry. Yeah. Then we wouldn't have to take two trips. I guess so. So or, regardless, Jason cleaned out the pantry. I did. And I'm going to tell y'all, when I saw what he had going on. <laughs> you stayed out of the way. <laughs> I made myself look busy and I just kept on walking. <laughs> Every now and then I'd find something that needed to go. Oh, goodness. And I could walk past that door and see that he was still working. And I kept on going. That's funny. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It needed to be done. But I just have a problem even getting rid of food. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get rid of anything. That I just got rid of stuff that was, um, you know, like, like, like there was a, a half or a third bag of taco shells. And I looked at the day as out of date. And I, I found... You know, we got canned goods in there. And I, I saw, saw you one, found one, one, can. one canned good that was out of date. And it went out of date in March. It did. And just and just stuff like that and just straightened up. But see, I would have kept that canned good <laughs> because it just went out of date in March. 
And I picked it up out of a trash can. I'm not going to tell you a story. The devil checked me. I picked it up out of the trash can. I said, why did he throw my cream of chicken soup away? <laughs> and I turned it over and I saw it was March of 24. And I thought, I would have kept that. Oh, goodness. But I put it back in the trash can. I see uh, EHC Bunny says she has a real tape player. And this reminds me. I remember. I don't know how old I was. I'm guessing seven eight nine in that time that frame right, the time range right there i got a cassette player and it was that you know the, the rectangle one with the handle on the end and you press the button and it pop up everything was on the top it's like, like this. a jam box no, no this is a pre-jam box oh. this this thing had one little speaker on the end like this the speaker here had the, the uh, cassette deck right here and had your buttons right here and it had a handle on it and it was rectangle and I got I one of those. I had to get one of those. No, 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 no. <laughs> I thought I was in heaven because I could take me a blank cassette and wait by the radio. Especially if, it, if um, Casey Kasem's on top 40 or whatever was on. So I could listen to that. And then I would know, you know, you know, one of my good songs is fixing to come on. And I could hit that record, play and record at the same time, and record that song. And it sounded terrible when you played it back. Oh, it, didn't back it? then it didn't. No, back but then I, it I'm didn't. sure it sounded horrible. But I can remember doing that as well. But I don't remember exactly what kind of equipment I had that I did that with. And I really can't believe that I figured out how to do it. Thinking back, yeah, <laughs> how did I figure that out? And I used I'm to, not electronically savvy at all. <laughs> and so I remember sitting there waiting for the song to come on, listening to the radio, and how much I wanted to be a DJ when I got old. Well, do you remember making your friends tapes? Yeah, I when remember When you finally that got two tape yeah. Oh, yeah, you got you two tapes. play tape that tape oh, and yeah. that's record on the next one? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to crash no. your DJ party. Oh, I did want to be a DJ, though. Oh, I never those, thought about being a DJ. Those like Casey Kasem and... Um, oh gosh, what was his name? My mind's gone blank now. Wolfman Jack. I mean, those were great DJs back in the day. And I just, and you know, DJs, well, now you don't really have DJs. I was fixing to say, it's a good thing you passed that up. But I mean, now DJs now don't even, I mean, I, I guess there's not even any DJs on radios hardly anymore. Well. But back then, though, a DJ was, I mean. Oh, yeah, a, that was a good a, one was awesome. That's right. Yeah, you're right. Um, and and then I'm sure you still remember your local DJs from Michael Keys, right? Rick D's. Yeah, Rick one? D's. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, your local DJs. You know, you you depended on them to to kind of break the. I don't know. Some of it was advertisement, but some of it. Yeah, was, but the entertaining ones are really good. That's right. Yeah. So you know, it's a good thing you didn't follow in that profession because mm -hmm. you wouldn't have a job right now. That's true. Well, not to say That's there's true. not any of them. I mean, there are still a few, but yeah, the, the XM has, even though it's supposed to be commercial free. Yeah, but they say two minutes an hour is all that they yeah. all that they play, and that's hard for me to believe because I, well, I guess it's broken up. I guess I so. guess that two minutes is broken up. You know, thirty so. seconds four times maybe, and yep. it makes you feel like it's more than two minutes. But I, it does make. I miss I miss the DJ era. Yeah, I like that. Kinda. Kinda. I mean, I don't even remember the commercials back then. No. But I, I, but I just remember the DJ. I don't remember. I don't remember going. God, these commercials are driving me crazy. Well, I think it was it was done in a way that your mind didn't have time to dwell on it. I guess not. Or it may be that we didn't have. Or we were just used to it. Uh, I was supposed to yeah. say we didn't have any other options. I guess so, so. It was either take it or leave it. I guess you're just used to it. But you know, you still think of the little jingles that come on the radio. Yeah. Um. In your truck, for instance, we listen to local radio, right. and Mary Carl, like Bill Bradley, for instance. <laughs> That's jingle. Um, come fix my home, Bill yeah, Bradley. Yeah. That's right. Come fix my home, <laughs> and even Mary Carl knows that. Yeah. And it's just little certain ones that stick in your head, it even is. to this day. It is you're right. Like the Tilly, the all time teller. Oh, yeah, she yeah, works yeah. at the, the People's, People's Bank. Bank. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember the rest of it. I don't either. I don't either. But that was fun. Yeah, that was, was fun. fun. That those, was fun. I, matter of fact, I would take my little tape recorder and I would practice 
and I record myself being a DJ. Really? Yes. I wanted to be a DJ bad. I must not have liked the way I sounded back then any more than I do now because, yeah. you know, I won't watch a video that I'm in. Yeah. And it's not that I'm upset with the way I sound or anything. It's just something that I don't like to do. I don't like to hear. Hear yourself. I don't like to hear myself. So me playing a recording of myself wouldn't have happened then nor now. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Funny how we're all so different. <laughs> it is funny how we're so different. But that may have brought you to where you are today. Who knows? And I was really interested in it. Comfortable and um, you're, you know, people, people are surprised if I tell them Jason is not outgoing. Uh, well, I, I take that back. I don't mean outgoing. He is not a... I'm shy. Well, yeah, but I was trying to get it across in a different kind of way without saying shy. He's um, he's not a social butterfly. Yeah. Does that make sense? And in the videos, you come off as being very social, very willing to, to talk and very willing to communicate. Yeah. But you're not that way. Yeah, I have uh, I do have social anxiety. Yeah, and but people I have... would be surprised to hear that. Yeah. Because you don't have any problem... <laughs> Introvert. I'm very introverted. You're not in front of these people yeah. face to face. You're in front of them behind the screen. Most crazy is with me is that large crowds don't make me nervous. It's one on one. So I have, you know, we can go to um, Universal or Disney World or a concert or anything like that or the movies, and I'm perfectly fine. But if I had to go to the drive through, <laughs> yeah. That's where my anxiety raises, which is so weird. But I I'm think not. It's... I'm not at all laughing at yeah. you. I am knowing exactly what you're saying because I know you. Yeah. Um, or the bank teller. Yeah. Or I mean, if you had to go in the bank, it would be even worse. But I could go on stage in front of twenty thousand people and speak and speak. Yeah, isn't that weird? It's just That's we crazy. all have our, our quirks. <laughs> and and in the past, when I've told somebody <laughs> that uh oh jason's not social or you know just yeah it brings a whole different opinion that somebody has towards you because they've already developed that by watching you but I, like on the meet and greets and stuff i can i'm you know very social you are but if i wasn't standing there beside you it i don't know how different. you would be i don't know i don't know I don't and know. it's just something that we have worked together um I think I, I I think everybody knows that I went through a time in my life where I was like I am now. I'm yeah, can talk to anybody. That's right. And I went through a time after my daddy passed away that I just I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't. It was a social anxiety that I never had before. Right. And um, I don't know why that happened. I mean, sometimes we just we can't control our inner feelings or inner thoughts or we would because I certainly didn't wish to be that way and it's just like um it's just like the way you are today mm -hmm. you didn't choose to be that way <laughs> it's just the way you are and if you could change you certainly would but oh. it is what we is and it is what we is and we just have become comfortable with helping each other out in that situation that's right you know I can kind of tell <laughs> just by your reaction if you're uncomfortable yeah and uh, try to help you out and i think you do the same oh yeah do the same absolutely so. um speaking of large crowds and i obviously i didn't go to the final four he didn't i didn't go he i didn't wanted to go jetting. i wanted to go but then at the same but after i saw well wait, wait a minute no i mean i don't want to get sidetracked i do want to say congratulations to the yukon huskies that's probably, I want to say top five, but probably at least top 10 tournament team, probably top five tournament team of all time. That is just what they've done and back to back, which is impossible. This day and time. It, period. The last time it was done was Florida did it maybe in 2006, 2007. Well, I'm thinking of all Duke's good years. Duke's only done it once. Oh. Uh, Mike, Mike Sosiski's only done it one time, 91-92. It seems like it was a lot. They went to the Final Four a lot, but they didn't win the national championship. Um, it's um, it's just unheard of. Absolutely unheard of. So congratulations to them. Not only that, when Florida did it, they had the exact same team come back. Yeah. UConn didn't. It was a totally, really? totally different team. Wow. Yeah. 
So congratulations to them. That was um whoo. They, they they had a heck of a run. But talking about going to the game, you know, I told you it was not in a regular basketball stadium. It was it was in a large stadium. And until I saw somebody that uh is a a, a a sports channel I follow that's a local sports station here called the next round, they went and they took a picture and that these were uh sports writers. I took a picture where they were sitting, and you literally the court looked like this. And I told Brooke, I was, I told you, I said, I'm so glad I didn't go because the the jumbotron was like this big. <laughs> I tell you, see, that's something that I would rather be at home watching, <sighs> even if I was a basketball fan, which I'm not. Yeah, but you know, I support what you do, right? But I that that's a situation where I would rather watch a football game. Sitting at my house. Yeah, I used to want to go to the games all the time, but as I got older and older and older, I don't. I really don't care about going to the games. However, if we had a professional team or if we had a college in our town yeah. that made it convenient for us to go and not have to, you know, Drive. get up at the yeah. crack of dawn and and head over, <clears throat> it might be different. Um, you know, I see a lot of people that are NFL fans. They get season tickets year after year. Yeah. And, you know, they paint their bodies <clears throat> up and they're all into it. And, you know, that's great. But we don't have that here. So, therefore, that's why I say that. I find it more comfortable to be in my on my Watch own couch. Them. Yeah. Um, same goes for, like, the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade. I like that, seeing that, but I like seeing it from my house. You wouldn't want to go see it. I wouldn't want to go. You know, I used to would have, but I don't think I'd want to go now. And it's not anything that I'm scared or, you know, it's not anything to do with terrorists. That that doesn't, I mean, of course, that crosses everybody's mind, but that's not the reason behind right. it. Right. It's just something that I'd rather not get into all that traffic, traffic and, <laughs> and people and, you know, trying to look over somebody to see oh, something. Man. I don't know if it's, yeah. if it comes with age or what. But it's just something I wouldn't do now. Now, if it was something that was on your bucket list and you wanted to do it, I would go with you. But it's not anything I desire to do. Uh, if if it had been 10 years prior, I probably would have went. But I just getting getting there is the thing. I'm getting there. And then the I told well, I showed it to you. The 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 sports channel that I watch that I like called the next round. Um <clears throat> They went from their hotel to the stadium. And, of course, it was in, you know, um, they were staying in Phoenix, uh -huh. I think. Anyways, regardless, they took a taxi, and it was a driverless taxi. And that was the weirdest thing. Just weird. And, and Jason then, showed it to me, and believe it or not, it was something I had already seen. I do not know how or why. But I, I did know there was such a thing, and you showed me the clip of them driving in the yeah, car. Yeah, they recorded it. with Because uh, they're with, from Montgomery. Yeah. You know, that's where that's where this Montgomery or Birmingham area. Um, so, <laughs> you know, it freaked them out. Yeah, and that's kind of kind of funny to me because I would think somebody such as them would be in the know about yeah. such as that. Yeah. Does that make sense? It was really weird. It was really, really weird. They, um of course... Prior to getting into it, he said that they were really nervous and it just seemed awkward and the whole safety thing seemed odd. But then when they got out of it and got to their destination, they had a total opposite opinion about it. And they both said they felt completely safe once they did it. And they both said that they would do it again in yeah, a second. Do it again in a second. <laughs> Speaking of Uber, do you remember the first time we went to Universal Studios? Uh -huh. um, Mary Carl was... She was too big to be in a stroller, yeah. but we took a stroller simply because we didn't want her to have to do all the walking, walking. and plus her health was not 100% right. at the time. <clears throat> so I booked this entire trip mm -hmm. and the... Uh, oh, the first time. We yes, went. the oh, first yeah. time we ever went. <laughs> yeah. The, um, the, the booking, I did it. Did I do it on the phone? I don't know. I, I can't remember. But anyway. In so many words, this hotel that I booked was a universal affiliated hotel. Right. So, you know, we've never been there. I'm thinking everything's right there together. Mm -hmm. As long as we have transportation, then we're good. Right. 
Well, the hotel had transportation. It was a shuttle that ran, and it ran once every hour. Mm -hmm. So we get there, and we find out that the shuttle that runs is not a universal shuttle. It's a hotel shuttle, Yeah, which we didn't care. I mean, just as long as we got there. So they told us in order for us to, um, the shuttles had stopped. For the for the day, they quit at four. That? They quit at four o'clock, and well, we had just gotten there, or so three or something crazy. We wanted to go, you know, downtown to what is it called? What's the downtown area? City called? Walk. City Walk, and um, because we didn't have tickets till the next day, so Jason and I had never taken an Uber before. Never. never. <laughs> we were scared. We're city, you know, <laughs> in a country town. We didn't know what to do. Oh, so y'all, we loaded up our baby in the stroller. She wasn't a baby. Our little girl mm-hmm. in a stroller, and we walked probably. It was. It wasn't that. It was. We tracked us like a one point three miles, <laughs> but it was. It was the fact that we were on a busy road. But I think the road was one point three miles. I think the actual sidewalk and the walking thing may have been a little bit further than that. It and was, then we had to go up a hill and over a bridge. bridge. <laughs> <laughs> and after that one trip, one trip, because we had to walk back and it was dark, we, we decided we were going to figure out how to use an Uber. We did. Downloaded the app. Downloaded the app because we couldn't, there was no way we could get to where we needed to go Yeah. the whole time by waiting on this bus that ran once an hour and then cut <laughs> off at three o'clock. But y'all, I made the biggest <clears throat> mistake in booking that trip and it stuck out to me for years to come because... I realized that there were probably a lot of people out there that made that same mistake. Yeah, probably so because it when was we kind ta- of when, hidden. Well, when we would take the shuttle back, the shuttle that ran back ran all night. Yeah. We'd have to stop at like eight hotels before we got to our hotel. It was a mess. Yeah. It was a learning experience. And you know, while I don't blame Universal, it was a Universal affiliated hotel. Yeah. If I had known differently, I would not have made those <laughs> arrangements. Yeah. Now, if we ever go now, we've always stayed in the Universal. One of well, the Universal we figured hotels. it out. Yeah. And, and we thought we had done our research we did. enough to... <laughs> and you didn't save any money. I didn't save any money. And that was the part that made me a little aggravated was <clears throat> we could have stayed somewhere that was Universal bus yeah, yeah. for the same price. Go figure. Go figure. Things happen. We look at it and laugh now and... That's what I have to tell myself sometimes. You know, we get angry, we get aggravated, and yet next week, next month, next year, you're going to look back on it, you're going to laugh. And and it's such a big deal in the moment. It is. But things pass. And I see that It's Me said that they they will be using Uber for the first time and not sure what to uh, do as well. It's easy. If us two rednecks can do it. We're not rednecks. <laughs> If we can do it, then you can do you it. You can do it. <laughs> we, um, I, we were just amazed. You know, us country folks, we look and it shows you the picture of the car and the driver. And thankfully and so. And you're like, oh my gosh, look at this. You know, thankfully oh, yeah, they do do so. that. Because right. it, it could be, you know, you, you don't know what you're looking for. And you get to follow the route, you know, way to go on your phone or anything like that. And But I will tell you all this. I have carried on a conversation with every Uber I've ever drove with. And some are talkers and some are not. And you realize real quick yep. who is and who isn't. And it's, and it's also what we learned from us using the Ubers over the years. And like we've done it, like we're pros. At we it. are we're not. Probably, we've probably done it like eight times. <laughs> <laughs> but some people are like, one, one lady was a school teacher. Yeah. And she did this whenever she wanted to. That's right. And somebody else was something else. And they did this when they wanted to. Then you have people that do it full time. So it was really, it was really And that's what I, interesting. that's, I became like the questionnaire was every time I got in a car, you know, do you do this full time? Is yeah. this your full time job? And if they didn't want to talk, then I figured it out real quick. But it was interesting to hear different people's stories. Right. And, and find out. And there was this one lady now. We learned a lot from her because she was very talkative. And I appreciated that. But if you don't want to talk, that's your thing. Yeah, so you can tell you can tell right off the bat. Oh, yeah. If somebody's a talker, yeah. they're not. Yeah. It's like where you headed. Yeah. Uh, you know, how long you've been here. Yeah. And then from there. Usually, you usually don't say anything. Uh, well, I'm saying. Yeah. Once we ask them that. Yeah. You don't say anything. 
Uh, I do want to announce that the poll for the coffee voting is officially up on the website. Where's that at, Brooke? www.coghillfarm.com. And so if you want to place your vote or, or, or your opinion on which coffee should stay, the Southern Pecan or the Butter Caramel, then go to our website, and it's just right there. You might just scroll down just a hair, but it's Jacqueline's got it right there front and center. So you can vote on what you, if you've tried both of them. If you tried both of them, or if you hadn't, and you just like that one particular one, it doesn't matter. That's right. That's Does right. not matter. Give it a vote. Give, Give it, it a, a vote. vote. And I, I think some people, well, I don't know if they were just telling us which one they wanted or which one they liked, but... I saw on Facebook where a lot of people were casting their vote there. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if they misunderstood that they needed to go to the website and do the vote because anything that's done on this live or on Facebook, it'd be hard for us to count. It. It's, it's <clears throat> not going to be tallied up. Yep. So if you guys don't mind, just do it there. Make it yep. easy. Do it there. Make it um, easy. Can the people see the results live or is it not? No, I went, up? I went and checked it and I didn't see any results. Um, so it doesn't say the number. I don't think it says the number. Okay. But I want to go in <clears throat> on the back side and see if it's there. Okay. And um, yeah, maybe so. we certainly don't want to have to go in and look at how many people voted for which one. Hopefully it's a numerical answer. Maybe so. Maybe so. We'll see. <laughs> We'll you didn't think about that, did you? <clears throat> no, I'm just, I, I didn't think about what if it's like Within 49 10? and 50%. Well, like then that. we well, pour <clears throat> the two bags of coffee together and we make a new concoction <laughs> and we well, start over. I will say this, that, that Ryan did mention to me that if, if uh, he's open to, if it became extremely close, to keep both of them because doing them is kind of hard on Ryan. Yeah. Doing two different ones at the same time. Yeah, because you don't know how many are going to sell and you want it to stay fresh. Right. So, but we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We'll cross that bridge. Hopefully when we there'll get be there. a winner by a long shot. Yeah. Well, I don't say hopefully, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe there will be an overwhelming, but mm. I will tell you what I saw. Just from the Facebook thing, the people that were saying one or the other, it was 50 50. <laughs> you know, it was well, like I think Ryan had snuck over there and looked at the Facebook page and read the comments. And I think that's why he came back and told me that. I'm telling you, it was, I would, I would read 10 <laughs> butter caramel and then I would read 10 southern pecan. And it was oh, like, you know, goodness. I would think one was the, anyway. Anyways, but if you, if you don't know, we got the, two flavors and we wanted one to stick around because we like to swap it up throughout the year, but we wanted to keep one all the time. That's right. And that's what we're doing this for, but we do have our regular coffee all the time and our dark roast all the time and the decaf all the time. That's right. So one of these flavors or maybe both, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. It, it just depends on who the winner is. Depends on who the winner is. Hmm. 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 Well, how did y'all's eclipse go yesterday? Oh, about that. How did y'all's eclipse go? How about that? I would like to know if if y'all got, I think we were, were we 80 or 90%? I well, think we were 80%. I was told by our daughter that it was between 80 and 90. 80 and 90. So I don't know if there is a, I'm sure there's an answer, but. I saw some videos of 100%, what they call it, totality. Did uh -huh. I say that right? Yes, you did. Um, yeah, that was, that was different than ours because it, I mean, it got dark, dark, um, like pitch black, dark. Well, I saw Mr. Robert Day Yeah, took a trip to Memphis and the Thank pictures you. that I saw that he had taken, uh -huh. now he may have better than this. I think they were expecting totality and it wasn't. I don't know. I think it was further... West. West than that. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, and I did see some people comment that he needed to drive about an hour west. Okay. But I don't know why Memphis and what Memphis was, but um, we, we you, you could tell the shadows were, were the coolest thing to me. The shadows. Yeah, the shadows and 
it was it was like orangey smoky look and i made it in the video because i recorded it i recorded it and what the animals did so that will be the video tomorrow can you tell in the video more so than what we were standing out in no the camera does such a great job of auto and correcting yeah, stuff so you can't really tell it so it actually corrects the the way it looked but it looked now one little i got on the phone you can tell it but what i used on the camera you really couldn't tell it and it was real it, it looked like there was a forest fire off in the distance and mm. the smoke kind of come over and it and it stayed like that for a long time it did it did um you know perfect example of your camera correcting things is people saying those aren't the same two goslings that oh yeah Luke showed. <laughs> So when I film, I use my phone. Yeah. When Jason films, he uses who knows what. I yeah. Mean, yeah. He's got all different kinds of cameras, and it literally just corrected the sunlight that yeah. was that day because I did some filming earlier today. Mm -hmm. And guess what? The goslings, you can see the color perfectly. It's just vibrant. I got you. But it was sunny that day. It was sunny, saw. and it was the front of them. You could yeah. see. You didn't see the back of them. In the back is where the black the well, the whole the, side. Yeah, you couldn't see that. He uh -huh. was turned a different direction on me that day. But um, I wish we would have been 99%, but we are 100%. But they said, what I tell you, in 21 years? 21 years. It's going to come through our area. 21 years. We're counting down the day. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to we, get. We will have our glasses ready. That, that was the thing, y'all. So we're in a little country town I, I don't how many people are in our town we're in now oh 100 yeah it's like 99 <laughs> 99 people so our next biggest city is clinton and it's a whopping eight thousand people so we're pretty rural here and i thought we could find those eclipse glasses easy i thought well we got a we got a little gas station right over here you know, of course, we got Dollar Generals. I don't know who don't have a Dollar General, but we had a Dollar General right over here. Um, we got, we got, a, we got a Walmart. We, we got, we can find these glasses. Never crossed my mind. We couldn't find the glasses. They were all sold out. <laughs> the day before the eclipse, I saw on a local group, people were looking for glasses. And they were saying that if you go to the Sonic and get the blackout slush, it's a drink. Oh, really? You had to buy the drink that was three ninety nine. You I got three glasses. Out. They sold so, out. There's a truck stop called Love's Truck Stop. Yeah. They said they had them sold out. There's a Vision Center at Walmart. They yeah. said that they had them a display so, in the front of them sold out. I was shocked. And then I started seeing places that were, you know, towns over. We've got five pair left. <laughs> And I thought to myself, by the time I drive there, oh goodness, there's be sold no way out. they're going to have five pair left. I tell you what I did see, and it was, it was, it's bad, but it's also, you know, it kind of shocked me. But it shouldn't have. But it showed the top two searches in the United States yesterday. Mm -hmm. And it was like, whew, way up. Uh -huh. It was. Why do my eyes hurt? What? And my eyes hurt. And I guess because people looked at the clips oh, no. without glasses. That was for the top two searches on, I guess, Google. Or That's whatever. not good. No. I saw a post by our eye doctor yeah. that's in Selma. And it was long and extensive with her explanation as to why you do not look at the eclipse. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't going to look at it. But I also wish that that had been posted nationally. Like everybody would have had a chance to read it. They try to. I, I think know, every but you still, to. I showed you something where a girl said, "Don't look at it without your sunglasses on." Oh yeah. I mean, that's maybe just... she meant her eclipse glasses. She meant she just said sunglasses. Well, that's misleading, and it that could have put somebody's eye out. <laughs> it could have put somebody's eye it out. It could have. It could have. Mm. I made it a point. I kept my back to it the whole time. I <laughs> just I just went off of your camera. Yeah, I would I would I would put my hat down and I would turn my camera up and I could see it in it like this. So I wasn't looking at it. And then um that's how I was trying to keep up with it. Did you see me across picture where she had two two images of it? I saw the one. I didn't see the other one. It was pretty cool. I had to go back and look. Yes. It was I had to go back and look. But <clears throat> I must say it was a big event. There was a 
It was real cloudy here, though. It was. It, it was. was real cloudy. I get tickled because there's a thing I follow um, about chickens, and everybody was so concerned what would happen to their chickens. Yeah. You know, not being, they were thinking that their chickens were going to go blind. Oh, because they look up at the thing. Because they would look up. Oh. And, um, and it was, you know, just kind of smarty people saying, all your chickens made it fine. All your chickens are going to be okay. And it was, you know, just some drama from oh, that. Oh, gosh. But anyway. Mm. We stay away from that. We stay away from that drama. You know, the, the whole buildup and stuff. I saw somebody say that, because um, there was a lot of people worried about the eclipse, too. Right. And but there were some people say, can you imagine? Because back then social media didn't exist. But what would happen if Y2K would have happened this day in time? You know, where 2000 when they said that the elevators weren't going to work right. anymore because the, the, the electronics yeah. were, wouldn't didn't know what to do when it flipped. When it hit zero zero. Yeah, and that our computers were going to crash, and so all this that and other. And I remember that to this day, I was working at the Ford dealership mm -hmm. and they made me go around. Well, first of all, they said, can you figure out how to change the dates on the computers? Because we don't want to lose our computers. Can you figure out how to change the dates? Because I was the young, I was the young kid. Uh -huh. I was probably the youngest employee there. And so, of course, I was, I was, I was actually computer literate then. And I was like, well, I can, I can I change the date. I wasn't then and I'm not now. <laughs> we can change the date. Yeah. So I went in and I went to all the computers and I changed the dates. And the main thing they were worried about was at the dealership, they have a, it's called a, um, I call it a key machine, but it's, it didn't, it's, it's how they kept up with the inventory of the cars. Mm -hmm. And evidently this machine was expensive. So if you were a car salesman, you had a code. And so you put your code in and it would open this thing up, cabinet up. And the keys have a little electronic strip on it. So if you wanted to go get the 1995 Ford Explorer out there, you'd pull that one out and it would log that Jason took the Ford Explorer at 230 and he got the key. Mm -hmm. That was the main machine they were worried about. And it was just a, I was like, I don't, there's no keyboard i mean there's nothing i can everything was internal yeah everything was internal so they were they knew that they were going to have to buy a new machine a new machine but they didn't nothing happened nothing happened nothing happened i remember us staying up we were living on willow drive oh yes i remember that <laughs> we stayed up we stayed up and it was like <laughs> 1201 happened and nothing everything <clears throat> still worked yep and it was it was just like it was time to rest. It yeah. was time to relax because we're all here and everything is the same. Yeah, we stayed up and we just knew things were going to. And I remember we saw it in New York first. You know, we saw the ball drop because yeah. they were an hour ahead of us. That's right. And so we knew that things were okay on the East Coast. Yeah. But you still, you didn't know. You didn't know. I think about I think about that. And also as a kid, do you remember the two other ones I remember that 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 were I don't know what that. I don't know how I get started to try to scare the masses, but it was acid rain. I don't remember that. Oh, I remember acid rain. It was just going to eat through everything. Acid rain and then the killer bees. You don't remember the killer bees? I don't. Oh, my gosh. The killer bees were coming. And then, of course, they had movies about the killer bees. And we all well, were scared remember, that I the mean, killer bees were going to come and just attack everybody. When was that? Oh, it was... 80s acid rain was in the 80s too i believe obviously i didn't watch the news and y2k was the 90s i knew that <laughs> i didn't watch the news either it's just well uh, somehow you do <laughs> i remember the killer bees though well maybe i do i just kind of blocked <laughs> it out of my memory yeah. because i know we had current events at school and you know we had to had to uh have little articles of what was going on but i just don't remember maybe acid i wasn't rain, scared acid rain and killer bees oh i was as a kid, I was worried. I was worried. Especially when the movie came out. I think there was two movies about the killer bees. Remember the kids on the school bus and the bees are trying to get in it? Well, mm. were you scared about the sharks being in the ocean? No, I wasn't scared about sharks. So Jaws didn't do anything to you? No, because see, Jaws came out. I watched Jaws as a kid, but it came out when I was... 82, I, I think. Oh, no, 75. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. We were. Yeah, I'm yeah. just off. Yeah, dogs came out, but I I remember my aunt Teresa. Mm-hmm. Now she was scared to get in the water after she watched Jaws. Well, you know we're swimming in their ocean. I can imagine when Jaws came out, there was the the beach attendants dropped tremendously. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I am sure. Um, as it would, you know, if it were to be a remake, not the Meg. You know, <laughs> that didn't scare nobody. <laughs> that didn't scare anybody. Um, oh, man. I kind of laughed at that one. But oh, if there was something realistic, animal-wise, yeah. today that came out, I'm sure it would affect the attendance. I can't Maybe think so. of an example. I was trying to think of something. Carlos said people were scared to get in the pool when Jaws came out. Oh, I believe it. Wow. I believe it. Wow. I absolutely believe it. Jaws, Jaws was a, a game changer. It was, it you was. think about that movie, The Birds, and... To this day, you'll see people that see a large flock of birds somewhere, and that's what they say. Yeah. This is like the movie The Birds. Me and Mary Carl try to watch The Birds because um, I thought she would enjoy it. Does she laugh too but much? The, yeah. The CGI is so terrible. That, she couldn't um, find it very she, she was. <laughs> well, that's the way I felt about The Meg. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to watch it, but it was so just, it was comical. Oh, yeah. It was, it. And, and I'm sure it takes different mindset to enjoy something like that. Right. Mine was not set to <laughs> to, to look at it as reality. And uh, I saw some people saying, I know killer bees are real, but they... The way oh, they, it was a scare tactic. They, the way they played it back then was it, they were going to come in, they were going to just kill everything off. Yeah. I, everything. But we do have... What do they call it? African colonized bees? That's yeah. where they come from. We, we think our batch we got at our old farm were african yeah well them things they were evil they were Whew. well only one really one hive was really bad man they were something else and y'all believe this or not tanya that was our beekeeper yeah. here is who bought those bees from us and she's or, the one that told she us picked that, up the bee. that usually a more aggressive bee makes a better honey um she wanted the bees and at the time you know saw that we had them and we needed to rehome them mm -hmm. and that's how we ever met her actually no it's not yeah i bought rabbits from her before we ever hooked up about the bees mm -hmm. so my, i missed it went by so fast they saw the birds and they remember it scaring them to death yeah oh. i mean i still see comments from people today when they see a large group of birds somewhere it's you know it's like is this like the movie the birds and then somebody else said that psycho you know you were people were scared of showers after psycho, and I can see that. I don't know anything about that. You don't, you, oh my gosh, Brooke. I just try to stay <laughs> away from that, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even heard of a movie called Psycho. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this a, it's the Alfred Hitchcock movie. You ever heard of Alfred Hitchcock? Yeah, he wrote the movie The Birds. Okay, this is the Psycho was his all out, probably the best movie ever. So I should watch it. Yeah, you could, you could watch it today, and I bet you watch it today. It's still wonderful. It's a oh. scary movie, but I don't like scary movies. It's um, I don't like things good. that that come back in my head. Yeah, you know what I mean. I like to stay away from stuff. Like I tell that. you, this is me with my filmmaking and how I think. But to this day, the shower scene when the camera's facing up and the shower's coming down, I still to this day cannot figure out how they did that scene without water hitting the camera lens and blurring it all out. It's amazing. And that's, you're talking, I don't even know when that movie came out. It had to be in the early 60s. Huh? It's black and white. I've never heard of it. Really? Never heard of it. Well, yeah, you, you, we got to watch that. I don't Somebody know Somebody said don't that. watch it for real. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't like things that stick around, you know? Oh, me. And I've never seen any of the Friday the 13th or, or Freddy Krueger. 50s that come out in the 50s. In the 50s, yeah. okay. I've never watched any it's, of those. What makes Psycho good is, is that it, it could actually happen. Well, then I really don't want to watch it. <laughs> I really don't want to watch it. 1960 is what somebody said. It came out in 1960. 
I've never even heard my mama talk about it. 1960. Really? Never. Norman Bates, the Bates Motel. Yeah, I know who that's it. like. Oh, the Bates Motel. Yes. Oh. That's come from the movie Psycho. Oh. Okay. Norman, he was the main character, and that was his hotel. Huh. I still not gonna watch it. <laughs> It's, it's, it is a classic. I'm not going to watch it. I can remember being um, 15. Yeah. And my friend Kim had to get together at her house. And so there were some girls and there were some boys. Yeah. And they were watching Friday the 13th. I say they. I was there too. This is the first one you'll know. I don't know. <laughs> I know. We all sat on the couch and they all watched the movie and yeah. I never shut up the entire time. I just talked. Yeah. I didn't watch it. <laughs> they probably were mad at me, but. I don't know if I was scared or I just wasn't interested. Yeah. I talked. I didn't watch it. I was, I've always been the movie buff. I guess that's why I like to make them too. I just, I love them. And Mary Carl does. Mary Carl does too. Yeah. I don't think she likes making them, but she loves. She does like it. She does. She does what, like That's them. the first time our dogs have barked. Oh, it is. They're in this entire live. Wow. And it's because it's raining, I assume. I guess so. Got Dee Dee here by her side, and she's sleep. not even interested in what they have to say. Yeah, she's asleep. Um, but uh, Mary Carl is interested in making movies. She'll show me little things that she makes from okay. time to time. Okay. It's pigeons, usually. Mm -hmm. She makes them say funny things, and <laughs> it always <laughs> makes me laugh. Oh, me. <laughs> what? I know who it was. I can see his little image. He said going to Walmart scary enough for him. <laughs> Michael Key. <laughs> what is his little picture anyway? I don't even It looks know. like Bigfoot. I think it's him holding up two big old fish like this. Uh-huh. I told you it was Bigfoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Oh, goodness. Well, well. What else you got, Jason? I don't have anything. Well, I can tell you one thing. I don't have to cook tonight. Oh, yeah. We're having leftovers. Yeah. We are having leftover Tuesday. I usually ask what everybody's having for dinner. And I have a feeling that a lot of people have the same thing every Tuesday. Tacos. Yes. Taco Tuesday. However, we're not having tacos. We're having that Mexican thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Tortilla pie. Something of the sort. Sounds like it. Um, it is. Uh, I've told y'all before. Just peppers and onions and salsa and all that kind of stuff stirred together with some black beans put in a pie shell baked you, in the you oven. went to post recipe it's in your head well i was fixing to say this one is not to where i can copy and paste it i actually have to type it so i don't know how soon that'll get on oh there. goodness i could take a picture of it it's in my mama's handwriting oh is it yes oh okay maybe i can do that maybe so white castle sliders I had White Castle. Did I tell y'all about it? Yeah, steamy buns. I had White Castle in Kentucky. We have crystals. We don't have White Castle. That's right. But I could use one of those. We don't have a crystal in Clanton. We don't. I'm glad. I'm glad we don't. We don't. I don't need that in my life. Because <laughs> I would eat there. I can remember we got, um, Jason and I got some steamy buns from there oh. one time. May Carl would not even try it. <laughs> But we got her some French fries, and she would not mm. eat the French fries because she said they tasted like onions. Do you oh, remember good. that? Yeah. And there's no way they could have because it was different grease. It was just the fact that they were in the building with the onions. Oh, mm. Terry right. said that she's having smash burgers. I like smash burgers, too. Yeah. Well, this this dish that we're having is so good leftover. Yeah. That's, that's the good thing is um, mm. don't have to worry about cooking for whole two days well no i'll take that back i cooked it yesterday today will be the end of it yeah we'll, we'll get rid of it today mm. <gasps> i saw a lot of people saying bringing up cujo you know i remember seeing cujo in my early years and it was scary but me and mary carl watched it i don't know several months ago or whatever and it wasn't as scary I just remember the woman getting on the top of the car. Yeah. That's I, I never watched it. I just saw a scene or two from it. I tell you the old the old ones that were non believable, like Freddy or Chucky are or funny those, today. Yeah, they're funny today. But back then it was they scary. They were scary then, but they're not scary now. 
<laughs> oh, they're not scary now. At least not 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 to us, especially the way that that they're made. Yeah, that they're made now. This you can tell it's really fake. <laughs> so I don't need to waste my time watching it, huh? The psycho's different. I'm not watching Psycho, Dustin. <laughs> I have heard of Norman Bates in the Bates Motel, but That's I it. did not know that was what it was yeah. from. Yeah. I did not know it was from the um, that movie. And I'm not watching it. It's okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to see. I'm going to I'm going to see if I can find it. Not for you. <laughs> Good. For myself. Are you going to watch it? I haven't seen it. It's been a long time since I've seen it. It's been a long time. Huh. But Alfred Hitchcock's a great, a great movie director and filmmaker. Really good. All right. Hmm. Are you ready for some leftovers? Am I? Yeah, I'm ready for some leftovers. Are you leftovers. hungry? I'm, I'm getting hungry. And yeah. Mm. Well, I had a salad for lunch, so I am working up an appetite and ready for some dinner. Me Even too. though it is five o'clock. That's how we roll around here. Me too. And uh, tomorrow's video is um, the animals in the clips. Animals in the clips. Y'all, y'all, y'all. We're, telling me and asking me how what did i think the animals were going to do and so i was like light bulb we're going to film it and that's so right. we did we filmed it yesterday and i'm not through with it i'm on i'm getting there though i'm getting there we'll get it we'll get it not we he you don't want me at it my anything. backup support i'll just cheer you on <laughs> <laughs> Fix your food and such. That's right. <laughs> well, guys, I hope y'all have a wonderful Tuesday. I know there's some nasty weather in Louisiana, maybe coming into Mississippi. So I hope all you guys stay safe. And uh, we'll catch y'all on the next one. And y'all be ready for the video tomorrow. Y'all be good. <laughs>